solid element operation tool. We can do this in floor plan, we can do this in elevation, we can do this in section, or we can do this in 3D. Now as long as you can see both of the elements or all of the elements that you want to edit, I find that the 3D option is probably going to be the best. Where do we find solid element operation tool? Design solid element operations. Now how does this work? We've got target, what's being targeted, what's being cut. That is our site, our mesh. What is the operator who is doing the cutting? That would be the slab. And what sort of operation do we want to have today? We want to have an upwards extrusion. Have a look at the little diagrams. Basically in this case it's showing that the thing that looks like an L is the site that's being, or the mesh that's being chopped. The thing that's horizontal is the slab that's doing the chopping. We want to use their own attributes execute and that's going to cut a hole in our mesh. Now that relationship is dependent on a continued intersection between these elements. If we were to move this slab, and this is why I like this tool, then the relationship would remain but it would move as needed. If this slab was deeper I should say thicker, then it would cut more of the site, more of the mesh. If this slab was deeper, minus two meters, so two meters further down into the site, it would cut deeper. So once we've created the relationship, the solid element operation, we can adjust it as necessary to make the basement sit where it should. Now, what height would I want this to be? I'd want this slab to sit mostly completely down into the site. How am I going to change that? I'm going to change that in my story settings. I'm not going to adjust the height in my slab settings because I always want my stories to be zero to make the rest of my drawing simple. Right click in story settings. Therefore I'm going to reduce this down. I reduced it down two meters before and it looked pretty good. So let's make that five. And we see that that means that we've only got the small corner of this basement out of the ground and we've got three corners well and truly underground. That's a really good way of doing a basement in terms of design and construction because that means we don't need to have a sump and pump to get any water out. We, we're still gravity feeding potentially water out of the site at the bottom of the site. So in terms of a basement, if we can do a, what would be called a sub-basement or a semi-basement, that's going to make construction a lot simpler. So, a bit of construction, a bit of Archicad, a bit of design, that's how we use the solid element operation tool.